Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday or Wednesday if you're in a different country. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, reference database or reference collections. And what this does and how it helps is that you can have a custom members area or you can have a collection just for personal information and then another collection that can be for either um, a listing, it could be for um, um, jobs, it could be for items, it doesn't matter. But what you're doing here is you can display information from one single data set into one repeater. So there's many uses that you can do for it. So I'm going to show you how you're going to do it. This is going to be a super quick video, but I want to make sure that it's very clear and a lot of people understand how it works. And it's going to save you again a lot of headaches uh, because even uh, with the current blog that Wix has and it, talking about how it gets done, it doesn't specifically show you how, and it can be a little bit confusing. So the first thing I usually do is I'll turn the developer mode if I'm gonna do some code. In this case, sometimes when your developer mode is off, you might not see right away the content manager. So I will turn that on if you don't see your content manager. But if it's already here, then just ignore this step. From here, we're gonna go to uh, manage content and we're going to create a new collection. In this case, we're just going to be naming this um, personal information. Okay. And then uh, we're just going to use multiple items and then create. And here we're going to store uh, information like personal uh, emails, phone numbers, full names, things like that. So it can be something like full name and then we're going to leave it as text. Then here is going to be a uh, phone number and then we're also going to do email. <clears throat> and since this is going to be a uh, internal use kind of like a uh, page, then I'm not going to even going to change the settings on this. Uh, collection but if you need to do that then it's very easy to do it you're gonna go right here after you create the collection because we Wix changed this option it used to be from the beginning now you have to go on to edit settings additional settings and from here you can do if it's a form you can select form submission uh, which if you select this you cannot use something like um, read and write on the data set so I usually will have something like custom use and then set permissions so I can have like who can read this collection anyone but if I'm having someone like uh, the own member or the own user create its own account then I'll have this as site member and this as a site member author and this one as a site member author. So they're the ones that are gonna be able to edit or change this collection. But because I want their name to be displayed, then I can have it like this. So with this type of settings, you are letting the user upload or add their own information. Now, if that's not the case, you can just skip this as anyone and you can just leave it like this. So it can be like that. So you can also have it as site content. So anybody can view this data. Uh, so we can click save all changes. And once we do that, then we are going to create another collection. In this case, what I have, this website is a hotel for doggies, right? So for pets. So in this case, I'm going to put um, dog and can do something like that. So this will storage the information for the doggy or the cat or whatever animal. So you can have the information for the owner and then their pet. So you can name it anything. It can be something like um, uh, or for a pet, whatever you want to name it and then create. And then from here, 
we're gonna have um, pet name. You can also do a last name if you want to. And then text. We can also do if let's say you're tracking something like vaccinated or not, right? So this you can do something like um, <clears throat> Boolean. So if you want to select or not and then save. Um, this is for when you use uh, this field right here. So I want to show you what it's that for. So anytime you use something like selection, where do you go? Checkbox. So for that one, you can select yes, no. So whenever you use this one, that's where you can use the Boolean. But if you're not using that, then it doesn't matter. <clears throat> then here is where the important part comes. You have to add the reference on the second collection, not on the main one. And the reason why is that is because we want to display the content from the owner into this specific pet. So I'm going to do another field and then here I'm going to do um, <clears throat> owner reference. So the ideal should be to call the same your collection if you want to. But in this case, it doesn't matter because I know what I'm doing. But if you don't want to keep it confusing, I will recommend naming this the same as the collection. And then you're going to scroll down here and find reference. So you can do reference and then from here we want to find the uh, where you go the personal information for that collection and then save. So now what it's going to do is when we go in this part right here and we add we're going to add a new page just to show you how it will look um, and we're going to add something like uh, pets info. Right, so I can have something like this. <clears throat> um, let me see where you go. List. Gonna add something like a blank repeater, or actually, let's use one that's already done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just use a blank repeater. So I would add something like this. Right, and then from here, I'm gonna edit this a little bit. And I'm going to do the layout and then I'm just going to center it. So I'm going to add an image <clears throat> and from here we can do uh, this guy right here. And then we're just going to do something like this. So we attach him. Now, one thing that we can do to make this even more interactive on personal information, which is going to be the owner, we can do like uh, owner profile picture. And then right here we can do image and save and we can do the same thing for um, <clears throat> for the pet, um, and then we're gonna move this right here, just so it's out of the way. Uh, pets profile picture. This is gonna be image, and then save. We're gonna publish everything because sometimes again it doesn't work if you're on test mode, so just keep that in mind. And then we're gonna add another image here and this is going to be the owner's profile so you can do something like um, let's do this guy right here and then we're gonna just make everything nicer so we're gonna do 565. Now let's do 500. Okay. 
so 500 for and then this is gonna be 451 actually okay I'm gonna make sure it's a square and apply then this one I will use something like this and I'll make this smaller <clears throat> so we can add it right here so you have the pets info and then the owner uh, so again you can use this uh, specific reference for something else other than just um, you know listing websites but it can be very useful for many things so this can be like pet's name and then we can add another one like gonna make this smaller um, <clears throat> This is gonna be like the owner's name. And then from here, just put it right there. So again, I'm not going into the design, but I wanna just show uh, what the possibilities are for this. And then um, you can again use it for anything on your site, your client's website, uh, whatever you're gonna be using this for. And then just gonna put it right here. So it's the contact number. And this can be linked also to a phone number, right? So right now we haven't added the collection. So we're gonna go here under content manager, add an element, add a data set. And then right here, the settings are gonna be on the furry pet. And we can do read only because we're only displaying information we can have a limit of how many we want to display at the same time you can always do less and then add a button to extend so let me actually show you what it will look like so we can do something like here and the reason why you don't want to put so many is because uh it could take forever uh, to load on your site. So that's why it's very important to keep a minimum of how many you wanna display at first. So I will usually do, let's say 20, and then um, remember read only. And then when we connect the button, we're gonna do this option right here, load more. And anytime, if there's more data, then this will display. But if there's not enough data, this is gonna be hidden or it's not gonna be available. We can connect now the doggy to the furry pet. And this is gonna be the pet's profile picture. And then right here, this is gonna be to the owner's profile. So as you can see, we're using this, this collection, but we can also see the owner's profile from the other collection. So that's how you're able to use two collections in one. And now you could say, well, I can just add another collection. And it is true, you could do that. But let's say if you need to submit data or you want to use this button, then you're going to have problems because some of the data might not display. So that's why reference collections are very uh, useful in these cases. And then this is going to be a uh, full name for the owner. And then this is gonna be the pet's name. So we can do something like that. Now, one thing to keep in mind is when there's no data on the collection, right? And you go into the site, the thing is it's gonna start displaying information that it's like the stock image. Uh, this picture that we added here and this one. So if there's no uh, information sometimes you're not gonna see uh, anything, but many times you might see the picture that you use. So if you have people submit data, let's say you have a custom form or a members area, just keep in mind to not use uh, stock images. You might have to use something 
like a picture that just says profile image so that way it's not confusing for the new member to be like why is it showing another picture when i haven't added anything but what it's doing is just picking information that you have as a like as the i don't know how to explain that part but uh pretty much this will be just like the stack image that you added it's not that they added any information and until they submit their own content then you're gonna be able to see your own information sometimes uh like in this case when you're using repeaters it won't show anything but if this wasn't a repeater it will definitely be showing that information so let me actually show you what i mean we're gonna add another picture and we're just going to add a random picture. Let's say this one right here. <clears throat> and we're not going to put this image on the repeater. So we're just going to put it right there outside. And then we're going to connect this to the owner's profile picture. And we're going to go here and publish that. Now we can refresh this. So I think the reason why it's not showing this right now, uh, oh, there is, yeah, it is showing. So as you can see here, it's showing this image, but technically there's nothing there. But now what is gonna happen is that we're gonna go here on this collection, right? So we're gonna add the information here. We can do, right now there's no, also no owner. So let's do, um, Bruno and then his last name is gonna be just B and then he is vaccinated so we can just leave it like that but we're not using that one so we're gonna use an image here and we can just use uh, this guy right here and then we're gonna go here onto the personal information and then we can put something like um, uh, we didn't add a phone number so oh well actually let's add one and then here we're gonna add a picture of the owner. So we can just do something like her. So as you can see right now, there's content here. Uh, now this is gonna be manually referenced because we are just doing this for a site. But if you watch my other website, where my other video, sorry, um, which is named listing website. Uh, I show how to add the, co uh, the code to automatically reference, but that's if you're using custom forms and things like that. If you're not uh, doing anything like that, then you can just manually reference. So now that we do that, we're gonna go here and this is gonna get updated. So as you can see, this picture right here, now it got updated. So sometimes again, when you're creating this, keep that in mind that these images will stay the same until you add content. So you gotta either use an image that says something like add your image, right? Or something like uh, stock image, submit your collection or things like that. If you're using some type of uh, custom forms where the user add their own information because this can be confusing. So now that we have done that. <clears throat> so as you can see, shows the name. It has her profile, the doggy's profile, his name. And you can add either, even more information, but hopefully this was useful. And again, if you have questions, feel free to send me a message, uh, contact me, and I'll be very happy to help you.